Hello everyone, my name is Marissa, and I'm going to be the speech language pathologist performing an oral examination on Sarah. Hello. All right, Sarah. So before we begin, we I have put applied hand sanitizer and my gloves. I'm using a tool of a popsicle stick and a mirror, typically to be more of a dental size. So first we're going to start by looking at the symmetry of your face at a resting position. So go ahead and rest. And now we're going to notice that you're breathing out of your nose, which is good. It's a normal sign that you're not congested or anything. Um, so right now we're going to specify on your mouth. So the corners of your mouth are looking right. They're not drooping in any way. They're perfectly symmetrical. Um, your eyelids. So when I look at your eyelids, they are both perfectly open. Um, there is no unevenness or drooping of any kind. Um... So now when I look at your face at a resting position, I'm not noticing any twitching, spasming, or any abnormal movements. And um, you are not mouth breathing or drooling, which is a really good sign. All right, so now we're gonna look at the symmetry of your face, but now we're gonna make a couple of movements along with it. So first we're gonna smile. All right, now, so it looks like the sides of your mouth are perfectly symmetrical. There is not um, a deviation to one side or the other. All right, now open your mouth very wide, as wide as you can go. Now, I'm examining your jaw. It looks like your jaw does not deviate to one side and it is perfectly round all around. So go ahead and close your jaw. All right, so now we're gonna look at your eyebrows and your eyes above the nose. So let's take a look and raise both of your eyebrows. So it looks like both of your eyebrows are raised to a symmetrical level. So that's looking good. And close your eyes very tightly. Does it feel even on both sides? Yeah. It looks even on both sides. All right. So now we're gonna go back to focusing on the lips. Now we're gonna be looking at the structural integrity of the lips, so we're gonna be doing a couple things off my checklist. So um, at first glance, there is no drooping like we distinguished before, and there is an adequate amount of tissue on both sides of the lips. All right, now at a rest, do your lips remain closed all the way around? It looks like it does. Now, as we distinguished before previously as well, there is no mouth breathing or drooling. Do you typically breathe out of your mouth or your nose? My nose. Awesome. All right, now the lip tissue, let's take a quick look at that. Just make sure it appears healthy. There's no discoloration and that looks good as well. All right, moving on. Last one that, um, of my checklist here is there is no scar tissue or evidence of a cleft palate um, on Sarah as far as we see today. Now we're going to further look into the functional integrity of the lips. So we're going to do a couple more movements with the lips. Now let's do a big smile again. It looks perfectly even all around and the corner of the mouth uh, seems to be even. It does not deviate to one side or the other. And now do a pucker. Looks like there is a full pucker all around. There is not any deviation or, um, you know, to any side. Now, we're going to alternate between a pucker and a smile. Is there any toughness moving from each position? No. Okay. All right. For the last, we have two more, but for the next one, we're going to um, put uh, air into, the, into your cheeks and hold them puffy open. All right, now, so I'm gonna count down from five, five, four, three, two, one, good job. So you were able to maintain the air into the mouth to at least count of five, perfect. And is there any nasal emotion perceived evident when the mirror is placed under there? So let's go ahead and take a look. Looks perfect to me, great job. Now we say, um, the last one of our checklist is we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and alternate between ooh, ee, ooh, ee, until I say stop. Go okay. right ahead. Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ee. Perfect, ooh. thank you. So it looks like the range of motion it seems appropriate between the two. Do you feel any strain anywhere when you're, okay, no. perfect. Now we're gonna look at the tongue uh, for the next couple checklists here. Right now we're looking at the structural integrity of your tongue. So what I'm gonna have you do is um, stick out your tongue so we can see the coloration. All right, that looks great. It does not seem discolored in any way, uh, normal coloration. Does the size of the tongue appear to be um, 
appropriate in relation to the cavity. Let's take another quick look. As we're looking, it doesn't seem like your tongue is too small or big. Do you feel any discomfort? No. Okay. All right. Do you feel any muscle loss or any, um, let's take another look. Now just move your tongue around a little bit. All right. Doesn't seem like there's any form of muscle loss. And do you ever feel any abnormal movements such as spasm or twitching of the tongue? No. All right. All right, so now we're gonna look further into the functional aspect of your tongue. So we're gonna protrude, stick your tongue out as far as you can. All right, good job, open your mouth this time. Perfect. So it looks like the you were able to perform this activity with um, without effort, which is very All right, continuing on, we're gonna look at the functional integrity of the tongue. So go ahead and stick your tongue out as far as you can. All right, now open your mouth and close your mouth while your tongue is still out. Good job. So it uh, um, seems like you were able to perform that activity without effort and your range of motion seems appropriate. Um, one more time, stick out your tongue. It looks like the shape is perfectly even and there's no deviation to one side or the other. So now we're gonna go ahead and um, stick out your tongue one more time and I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Um, so we were able to do this without resting our tongue on our lower lip, which is a good sign. All right, so uh, one more time, protrude the tongue, and I'm going to have you move the tip of your tongue in the various um, directions. So first we're going to do up and down. Perfect, side to side. All right, and then uh, go ahead and do side to side as quickly as possible, and we'll see how that looks. All right. So the range of motion seems appropriate and there's nice signs of groping or uncoordination. Uh, and then when you retract your tongue, the range of motion seems very adequate. And now we're gonna go ahead and um, open your mouth and uh, stick out your tongue. Go ahead and lift it up. And I'm just gonna expose the little piece right down there. And it seems to be perfect symmetrical. I was just looking at your lingual frenium. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and say, repeat after me, la, 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 All right, so it looks like range of motion and everything is perfect there. Now, uh, one more time, repeat after me, ka, 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 ka. Ka, 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 ka. Perfect. Everything seemed to be perfectly working there. Now we're going to combine the two for one more repetition. We're going to do ka, 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 la. So go ahead and do that. Ka, 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 la. Perfect. There is no uh, stress when you transform from the ka to the la. So now we're looking at the structural integrity of the hard palate, which is going to be the bone on the top of your mouth um, before the velum. It's going to be closer to your teeth. So uh, go ahead and open your mouth. I'm going to take a quick look. Tilt your head back a tad. Typically, you should have a flashlight for this. All right, coloration of the hard palate seems to be perfect uh, along the midline, and the height of the width along the hard palate also seemed um, normal within the normal range for speech production. So there's no form uh, signs of repaired or any cleft palates, fistulas, or fissures, and there's no signs of any surgical or processes. All right, so now we're gonna look at the soft palate, which is gonna be behind, closer to the back of your throat. So the, let me take a look one more time. Typically, again, you'd have a flashlight. So back there, the coloring looks um, great, and the uvula is a perfect shape. It is not bifid, which means it splits into two different ways. So um, once again, I do not see any um, signs of repaired clefts, any surgical, or any dentures of any kind. The velum appeared symmetrical, and the length of the velum is perfect as well. Um, going along with the soft palate, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you for a little bit, and that way we could just get a better, comfortable understanding of how the soft palate's uh, working. So, uh, when's your birthday, Sarah? June 14th, 1999. What's, what's your favorite color? Black. Perfect. Uh, do you have any animals? Yeah, I have two dogs. What are their names? Milo and Bert. Awesome. Thank you very much for the information, Sarah. So your speech did not seem hypernasally um, or hyponasal. It seemed pretty perfect. There's no signs of that. And the consonants were uh, produced correctly. So um, there's also no signs of glottal stops, fricatives, anything like that. 
And um, so now we're gonna go back to saying, repeating after me. So I'm gonna do a prolonged ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Alrighty, go ahead and do that again while I'm looking. Ah. Uh. Alrighty. The velum moves back and forth uh, to meet the pharyngeal wall. And now we're gonna go ahead and make the repeated, uh, so ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Alrighty. Alright, so now we're gonna um, go on to saying other, um, just to take a look at your velum one more time. Um, so now we're gonna look with the mirror and um, try not to exhale too much so it doesn't fog up the mirror. But go ahead and repeat after me. Say blue. Blue. Ah. Ah. Green. Green. Alrighty. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the teeth. So go ahead and uh, open really wide for me, as wide as you can. Typically, you'd have a flashlight when you're examining this, but I'm taking a look at the structure of your jaw. So uh, it does not appear that you have any missing teeth. It does not feel that your teeth are mispositioned or tilted, and there are no dentures in place. Um, have you ever had braces? No. All right, doesn't seem like you do either. All right, so. Bite down gently and separate the lips so I can observe your teeth. Like this. All right. So it looks like you have um, a little bit of an overbite and um, the hygiene of your teeth seem very good. There are no cavities, breaks, cracks of any kind. And to the last of our um, session here, you're just going to go ahead and repeat after me a couple syllables just to get your syllable right. So we're going to do puh, puh, and now repeat after me for, I'm going to go ahead and uh, count to 10, and we're going to go ahead and test how many repetitions you could do in the time. Okay. So go ahead and start. When you start, you'll do puh, 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 puh until 10, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Puh, 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 puh. Perfect. Alrighty, now we're gonna do tuck. Repeat after me, tuck. Tuck. All right. Now, when I tell you you're gonna do the same thing, uh, you're gonna say ta 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 with full range of motion. Go ahead. Ta 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 ta. Alrighty. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do ka. Repeat after me, ka. Ka. All right. Now go ahead and do the um, repetitions. Ka 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 ka. Alrighty. Now we're gonna do fa. Fa. Fa 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 fa. Go right ahead. Fa 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 fa. Perfect. And um, we have two more. Uh, next one is la. La. And now we do the repetitions. La 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 la. Alrighty. Now we're gonna switch it up a little bit and go between um a kind of mix of them. So we're gonna do repeat after me. Pa pa ta ta ka ka. Now uh, I'm gonna count to ten and you're gonna say that as fast as you can. Pa ta ka until I say stop. Go ahead. Pa ta ka pa ta ka pa ta ka pa ta ka. Perfect, go ahead and stop. All right, Sarah, that seems to be the end of our um, examination form. We seem to be perfectly healthy. Thank you. Thank you.